The news projects I-Team uncovering fraud charges against two men accused of trying to scam more than $700,000 from homeowners and businesses. As Stephen Ford and Lawrence Gilmore IV were arrested late last week on charges including organized fraud and workers' compensation insurance fraud. Ford is also accused of passing himself off as a licensed contractor. News for Jackson reporter Ann Maxwell is live at the Duval County Jail. Ann. Mary Ford is still in jail here tonight after failing to post an $100,000 bond. Gilmore bonded out late last week. In this affidavit, investigators say they began an organized scheme to defraud people in September of last year. The affidavit names 14 victims, but it says they're still discovering more. Last August, Elena Fields and her daughter bought this house in Jacksonville, where she would retire and her grandkids would grow up. And has the driveway been like this since y'all moved in? Yeah, it has. It has. We knew when we moved in it would have to be done. But it needed work, a new driveway. You can't drive over it. And an add-on to the home for Fields. I still wanted my own space. In December, they signed a contract with Ford Contracting LLC for more than $78,000 for renovations upon the suggestion of a realtor Fields knew. I just assumed that LLC after his name meant that he was licensed. Investigators say they paid $23,000, but no permits were obtained and no work was ever done, writing Ford didn't respond to texts or phone calls. And then I said, well, that guy's out and out lying to me, so something's wrong here. According to investigators, Stephen Ford and Lawrence Gilmore IV of Ford Contracting had fraudulent contracts with customers for more than $700,000. In this affidavit, the detective on the case says Ford would sometimes collect a 50% deposit but never get the building permits or start the work, like at Fields' house. Other times, they say, Ford and Gilmore would get building permits by using the forged signature of a local contractor who was licensed and then abandoned the job in the early stages, like at this Riverside home. We tried to call Ford Contracting. The number you dialed is not a working number. So we paid a visit to Ford's office in the Holiday Hill area of the South Side. But no one answered, and the office looked abandoned. Workers at nearby businesses said people had been living here until officers evicted them on Friday. The same day, Ford was arrested. People like Fields are now out tens of thousands of dollars, with home renovations left in disarray or not begun at all. And we're going to have to find a contractor, which I will be sure to check for licenses and all that. <laughs> Investigators also said Ford and Gilmore violated Florida law by not getting workers' comp insurance for an employee and their subcontractors. Both men have court dates scheduled for November. Live in Jacksonville and Maxwell, Channel 4, the local station.